pet the dogs inside while I try and harvest as much as I can for what's available in the garden. Um, I mentioned in the last vlog that with the new puppy, I've been trying to focus more on family in the house, puppy stuff. So, uh, Oak decided that in his massive baby phase, he was going to roll a tomato off the counter as well as a green bean. Gnaw, gnaw on those for a little bit. So, uh, he's fine. Um, I guess, uh, I forget how tall he is to figure that out. So let's go see what I was able to get done. I pruned back a lot of the things that were in the pathway, uh, including the nasturtiums pretty heavily. And I think mostly what I learned is that I need to space out my tomatoes better next season. Now's a good time to be seeing what's working well and what isn't. Um, on paper, it looked like I would have enough space um, and by shifting the tomatoes in like a diagonal pattern from each other, they have enough root space. So my plan for next year is to probably use tomatoes more like pillars um, and then have the squashes at either end of the bed or something because that autumn frost way down there, that guy, he is doing really well in that corner. I don't have any problems with that. Um, and I thought that by putting this pink banana squash in the center, he would sort of like go up and then tee off to either side. Um, and that's kind of true, but not entirely. <laughs> and I think that if I put him closer to this end of the bed next time, or a similar squash, whichever, I can train him over the seating area. And that would make that a little bit more functional. Um, probably more functional if I stop just setting stuff on it and walking away. Anyway. So, um, yeah, we'll resume what's going on in here. I didn't have a bowl to harvest hot peppers, so I'll need to come back and do that. Um, cause there's several of those that have turned red and are ready to be picked. I did end up cutting one of the pink banana squash vines that was leading to the leaves that had been so sad. So the vines that are going out the windows are the pink banana squash vines. And I'm getting my first red noodle beans. Those look pretty neat. I harvested several okras. Uh, which means I'll probably have to share with the husband. Uh, he did make a comment about how I've been bringing him less of those, so he zoned me. Kinda gotta share. I've got tomato here that's almost ready. And then I've got the babiest watermelon. I did find a couple of cucamelons in here, and I shamelessly just snacked on them. They were they were pretty good. And then probably one of the bigger changes is that I hacked off a whole bunch of the chamomile um, because I'd left it too long and some of it had gone to seed and wasn't good for tea anymore. And then I deadheaded, removed all of the spent blossoms on the calendula, uh, and then made that a little shorter as well. Uh, we've got enough time in the season that this should flower again. We'll, we'll be okay, but that's what's going on there. And then there's the vine going out the window and uh, it's progressed pretty far, but I need to harvest chives and uh, prune the tomatoes a little bit more. I really just did the bare minimum over here to try and keep it, keep it going. Um, this nasturtium looks a little sad I gave him a pretty jagged haircut. He will also recover, they'll be fine. And then I harvested a few sweet peppers. 
the oregano's coming back. And then here's, oh, I've got some peas I missed. So this pea vine being shaded by the squash vine helps extend some of that season. It's gonna get up to, I think 80, 87 today, uh, which is too hot for peas, but he'll hang in there until the fall. Similarly, I trimmed back a whole bunch of this chamomile. Harvested some beans. And then uh, there's the greenhouse going wild. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do more of these Nigelia next year. I've been really impressed with those. Look at a sweet seed pod. Cosmos too. So those together. Oh, beautiful. Hi, Mr. Flash. I've got ears of corn starting to bud up. I noticed today that these were actually pretty sizable instead of just silks. I still haven't gotten in here to get a bunch of crown cherries that I know are ready. Just haven't gotten to it. And then this guy is starting to change colors. I did cut back the spaghetti squash vine and there's a tractor. I've got more chamomile here I can cut back. These beans are for drying, so I'm letting them do their thing. I got a couple more cucumbers, some tomatoes from here. And I tied up that nutter butter, butternut squash. I got a whole bunch of these. I think these bumblebees cherries are my favorite this season so far. I really like those. But the flavor of these guys, tiger something, they're a nice cherry tomato. I really like those as well. And then my pumpkin plant. This is the Long Island cheese is absolutely taking over up here. We'll take you underneath. I've got some pumpkins under here. And then this violin arugosa, I think I underestimated the size of the fruit. And what I mean by that is, look at this, it's absolutely insane. These floss flowers are neat because I did not plant those this year. That uh, self-seeded from last year and I didn't see it until recently. So yeah, I'll get quite a few of these guys. Uh, these might be damaged, so they'll come off on their own. I got a full little yogurt container of Wonder Berries. Those were good. And then I am getting oodles of beans off of this. And I got my first red noodle bean that I'm going to use in some stir fry for lunch. 
But look at these beautiful purple flowers on the red noodle beans. It's gorgeous. So here you can see the baby beans coming off the pretty flowers. So I think once those make their way all the way up, it'll look like this neat vegetable bead curtain thing. So it is been fairly productive day. I haven't done everything, um, which frankly is not surprising because it would take probably two full outside days to do so. Um, what I did do was harvest everything that had to come off so that the plants would keep going um, and keep providing me with more things. So I have gotten some of the garden back under control, mostly because the greenhouse was almost impassable. Um, I could not get through some of the walkways. Um, I did see some caterpillar poo in there, so I am not entirely done on the things that I need to continue inspecting and pruning and tying up in there, but I am much better. Um, same thing out here. I harvested everything I could, tied up things where I could. Um, I've had a couple garden snacks while I was out here, and it's it was interesting because I ate a fresh uh, sunset runner bean off the vine and the flavor reminded me of my grandma's friend Jane who had a garden when I was growing up and we would go visit her and I haven't thought about Jane in years and I remember she was always interested in what was going on always ready to share her space with me um, including her her garden and I have very fond memories of her having these waxy potted yellow bush beans and this is the first year I've grown them, but it wasn't until I tasted a bean off the vine that I remembered her letting me do that growing up. Isn't it neat how some of your memories are tied to smell or taste like that? Both grandma and my, her friend Jane have since passed, but it's nice to have those things that remind you of the time you spent together. Well, the heat is getting too much for me and I need to eat some actual meal instead of snacking on whatever I'm finding. Um, but I'm going to keep keep working on the garden throughout the weekend and I'll take you along with me when I do. Thanks for coming along today. Open enough that it's... Mr. Flash, that's not necessary. It's okay. No, 